supplied popular demand, I tested Loctite Red and Blue in my Extreme Impact Vibration Test Rig. And while I was at it, I tested Loctite Super Glue too. Keep watching until the end for that. They all were applied on nuts and bolts in my test jig. The flat washers and coupling nut were notched and locked together. All nuts and bolts were cleaned with grease and wax remover and then 70% isopropyl alcohol. First, 3 8 by 16 307A control samples without thread locker or super glue were set up. Torque to 11 foot pounds and their brake loose torques were measured for a control reference. Sample 1, 8.4 foot pounds. Sample 2, 8.3. Sample 3, 8.6. Next, a control sample was set up in the test rig. Torque to the same 11 foot pounds and put to the extreme vibration test. After 30 seconds, the nut was still secure, so it was vibrated again. And just before the 60 second mark, the jig flew apart. This was exactly the same result as in earlier tests where I tested lock washers and lock nuts. We used 60 seconds for our test duration for the Loctite vibration tests. Then blue Loctite control samples were set up in the jig for reference. Two drops were applied to each bolt, the nut threaded on, torqued to 11 foot pounds, and cured for 24 hours. So it was one sample each day repeated over and over. The blue control brake loose torques were measured. Sample 1, 10.4 foot pounds. Sample 2, 10.3. Sample 3, 10.8. The same process was followed for red control samples. And the red control brake loose torques were measured. Sample 1, 19.1 foot pounds. Sample 2, 17.0 Sample 3 17.4 Next were the vibration tests that you've been waiting for. First, blue samples are set up in the test rig. Torqued to 11 foot-pounds. Marked with a permanent marker. Cured for 24 hours. Placed on the reciprocating saw. And vibrated for one long minute. I did my best to hold the reciprocating saw in one place. A close look at the jig shows that the nut rotated slightly counterclockwise on the bolt and quite a distance from the mark on the washer. But I couldn't turn the nut with my fingers. I used this torque wrench to measure the brake loose torque, which was 1.5 foot pounds. Next, blue vibrated sample 2. Vibrated for a minute. It looks like the nut stayed with the flat washer but the bolt rotated slightly. And the brake loose torque was 1.79 foot-pounds. And blue vibrated sample 3. Vibrated for a minute. Looks like the nut and bolt rotated slightly. And the brake loose torque was 1.33 foot-pounds. It seems that the bolt preload was lost on all three blue samples. Next up, the red samples were set up in the test rig, torqued to 11 foot pounds, marked with a permanent marker, cured for 24 hours, placed on the reciprocating saw, and vibrated for one long minute. The marks were still aligned. And the brake loose torque was 12.22 foot pounds. Next, red vibrated sample 2. Vibrated for a minute. The marks were again still aligned. And the brake loose torque was 11.46 foot pounds. And red vibrated sample 3. Vibrated for one minute. Once again, the marks were aligned. And the brake loose torque was 11.98 foot pounds. And the results the average brake loose torque for the plane control samples was 8.4 foot pounds. The blue control, 10.5. The red control, 17.8. The blue after vibration, 1.6. And the red after vibration, 11.9. So, compared to the plane control, 
The blue and red Loctite increase the torque needed to break the nuts loose. And after being in the impact vibration test rig, there were significant drops in the break loose torques, but still enough to hold the nuts onto the bolts. Take these results for what they are. Entertaining. Oh yeah, let's see how super glue held up. After a 24 hour cure time, the super glue control break loose torques were 22.9 foot pounds, 21.8, 19.2. Then the samples to be vibrated. And after a 24 hour cure time and being vibrated for one long minute, the nut and bolt marks are still aligned, but they slightly rotated from the washer. The break loose torques were 11.5 foot pounds, 14.7 foot pounds, and 12.4 foot pounds, for an average of 12.9 foot pounds. Very similar to the red Loctite results, but a major difference is that red Loctite is rated for use at much higher temperatures than superglue. Back to the garage.